What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how I made this awesome logo sign that you guys can make in your own shops with the Maker Made CNC. Check it out. So let's start with what a CNC is. It means Computer Numerical Controlled Machine, which means you guys program a design, it converts it into some type of programming language that then controls this machine and cuts it exactly as you have it designed. There's no handwork in it, it's all machine controlled, and that makes it a really precise type of thing, which also drives up the cost of a lot of these machines. But the Maker Made CNC is actually an option that is a lot more affordable. It's a do-it-yourself kit that's made for makers to help them enter the market of CNCing, again, at an affordable cost. So check it out, I'm gonna show you how we use it to make a sign for my shop and how you guys can use it to get into woodworking or CNCing or even with a small business. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with the file that we wanna cut. I'm using my logo with a pentagon shape merged with a rectangle for the background. I export this SVG and upload it into the easel software by Inventables, which lets me tell the machine exactly how I want it to cut my pieces out. I start up by setting up the size of the wood that I'll be using, as well as the depth of the wood. I then choose the bit that I'll be using, which is going to be an eighth inch bit, which will let me get all the tight details in my logo. And then I'm going to tell the machine to cut on the path of my logo. I then scale it up so that the entire sign is about three and a half feet wide. And then I put the details for how fast the machine should cut the wood. From there, I'm able to export the G-code that controls my Maslow CNC machine and hit go. Now's the fun part. I'm going to be attaching the wood that I'll be using for the sign to the base of the Maslow using just two screws at each of the corners. I home in the machine and then I watch it cut. Next, we need to cut out the tabs holding our pieces in place and then sand it all down. So now I'm just touching up parts of the sign with a uh, metal filer. This helps get a whole bunch of the fuzzies. Um, that helps get them you know, off before I paint it. Uh, if you paint with the fuzzies on, it won't be as crisp and you want your sign to be really crisp. Um, you could also use sandpaper, that helps too. Now that we have all our pieces cleaned up, I'm going to paint my logo black, paint the backdrop white, and then glue it all together using some CA glue. All right guys, it's all done. I absolutely love how this one came out. So I'm gonna be trying to make as many signs like this in a week. I'm at least gonna be making 30 in one of my next videos. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because that's gonna be an awesome challenge. You don't wanna miss that. And I can't wait to see the different signs I have to make with that challenge. Um, thanks as always for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.